Today we will start with the tropical deciduous forest. So the tropical deciduous forest is also known as the tropical monsoon forest. So the tropical deciduous forest also known as the tropical monsoon forest. The monsoon forests are said to be the most extensive in our country. When we talk about the tropical deciduous forest, these are found in areas receiving rainfall, okay, areas receiving annual rainfall of 100 to 200 centimeters. When we talk about the tropical deciduous or the monsoon forest, these trees, the trees that are found here, the trees of the deciduous forest, they shed their leaves in the hot weather season. When what happens, the water scarcity is at its highest. So what happens is, in this season, the trees start to shed their leaves. But each species shed their leaves at different time. Because of which what happens, the forest never looks absolutely bare. Next, talking about the deciduous forest, these are found in pure stands. These are found in pure stands and are said to be economically important. So they are economically, economically important. So next when we talk about the tropical deciduous forest, the region for the tropical deciduous forest includes, it extends over the entire peninsula, entire peninsula, peninsula and is found in the east of the western Ghats, east of the western Ghats and it continues to the Ganga plain, okay, and it continues to the Ganga plain up to the foothills of the Himalayas. So we find it up to the foothills of Himalayas. So one more time, when we talk about the tropical deciduous or the monsoon forest. They are the most extensive in India and are found in areas receiving 100 to 200 centimeters of annual rainfall. They are of pure stands and are economically important. They are found in regions of the entire peninsula, east of the western Ghats, and also till the foothills of the Himalayas. When we talk about this deciduous forest, we also said that they shed their leaves in the hot weather season. But each species shed their leaves at different time because of which what happens, the forest never looks absolutely bare. Next, when we talk about the tropical deciduous or the monsoon forest, the trees that are grown here, the important trees include sal, teak, sandalwood, simul, bamboo, hair, etc. So, sal, teak, Sandalwood, sandalwood, simul, bamboo, care, etc. So now let us talk about the first type of important tree found in tropical deciduous forest. It is sun. So when we talk about sun, it is very hot heavy and are also immune to the attack of white ants. So you can see they are hard, heavy and also immune to the attack of white ants. Its timber is mostly used for railway sleepers, making railway sleepers and also house construction. So railway sleepers and also house construction. House construction. Next when we talk about sal, it is mainly found in Bihar, Orissa, Tripura, etc. Bihar, Orissa, Tripura, 
etc. So we, here we are talking about the first important tree that is C. Moving forward, let us talk about T. T is also a very hard and durable. So T is hard and also durable. When we talk about teak, it's timber. It's timber, it's suitable for shipbuilding, house construction and also for furniture making. So, shipbuilding, shipbuilding, house construction, shipbuilding, house construction and also for Okay. Next, when we talk about teak, these are teak is mostly found in the forest of Madhya Pradesh, Assam, Orissa, Bihar, etc. So Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Assam, Bihar. Okay, now moving forward, let us talk about the third type of important tree that is sandalwood. Sandalwood. So when we talk about sandalwood, it is used in carving and handing crafts. So carving and handing crafts. Okay, now next when we talk about sandalwood, sandalwood oil. Sandalwood oil is used for making perfumery. So, sandalwood oil, sandalwood oil is mostly used for making perfume. It's mostly used for making perfume for perfume. When we talk about sandalwood, it is mainly found in Karnataka. So it is found in maybe Karnataka. Okay, one more time. When we talk about these three trees, firstly, saw, it is hard, heavy, and are used for railway sleepers, house construction, found in the forest of Bihar, Odisha, etc. When we talk about tea, tea is hard, durable, and is also used for making, ship building, house construction, furniture making, etc. When we talk about the regions, it includes the forest of Madhya Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, etc. When we talk about the third type, that is sandalwood, it is used for carving and handicrafts. Sandalwood oil is used as a perfumery. It is mainly found in Karnataka. Moving forward, let us talk about the next tree, that is sinew. When we talk about sinew, it is soft and white timber. So firstly it is soft and white timber. It is used for making packing cases, mat boxes and toys. So it is used for making packing cases, packing cases, mat boxes, mat boxes and Toys. When we talk about sinew, sinew is found in the regions of Assam, Bihar, and Tamil Nadu. So, Assam, Bihar, and Tamil Nadu. Okay. Moving forward, let us talk about the next one. It is bamboo. When we talk about the bamboos, it is mainly used. It is mainly used for the construction purposes. It is mainly used for construction purposes. These are mostly used for manufacturing of paper, pulp, etc. Moving forward, let us talk about the last type of tree that is care. When we talk about care, care it is 
or we can say it provides it provides tanning material or it is used for tanning purposes so used as tanning material when we talk about care care is found in karnataka maharashtra bihar etc so it is found in karnataka maharashtra maharashtra bihar etc so lastly when we talk about the tropical deciduous forest the important trees include your saw teak sandalwood sugar bamboo care etc they are found in regions receiving 100 to 200 cm of annual rainfall and they are also economically important we move on to the next type of forest that is your thorn and scrub forest so when we talk about the thorn and scrub forest these forests are found in areas where the rainfall is less than rainfall rainfall is less than 100 cm so this in these areas as the name itself suggests thorn and scrub forest obviously these areas will receive less rainfall so they receive rainfall less than 100 cm when we talk about the thorn and the scrub forest the thorn forest consists of stunted trees and bushes which are highly scattered or which are widely scattered so when we talk about the thorn and the scrub forest as i said they consist of stunted tree that means they consist of short trees short trees and they have bushes mostly next when we talk about the thorn and the scrub forest the trees of this thorn forest are mostly or only of 6 to 10 meters high okay so the height of the trees are only about 6 to 10 meters when we talk about these trees these trees mostly have long roots basically because the roots enables them to obtain water from deep underground as the rainfall is less so they try to obtain water from the underground itself other than that when we talk about the thorn and the scrub forest the fleshy stems okay the fleshy stems can also store water which helps them to survive during the dry period so as we said what do what do they have they have long roots and they also have fleshy stems both helps them to survive during the dry season when we talk about the trees here most of them have sharp spines okay mostly what has happened is the leaves have been modified to reduce the surface area as the water here is very very less so one more time most of them have sharp spines sharp spines like the needles or thorns sharp spines or thorns which helps the trees and the bushes okay which helps the trees and the bushes to conserve water and protect them from the animals as well so what does this do this helps them to protect themselves protect themselves from animals okay firstly it helps them to survive okay it helps them to conserve water second of all these spines and thorns also protects them from the animals as well next when we talk about the thorn and the scrub forest the trees included in this regions are babul ker khajuri etc so we have babul khajuri babul khajuri ker etc when we talk about one more time when we talk about the thorn and the scrub forest babul sorry not ker kicker babul kicker khajuri okay these are the most common trees found here species of acacia 
are also found in this region or we could say that these are also very very common in case of the thorn and the scrub forest. These forests are mostly found in northwest India. These forests are mostly found in northwest India which includes which includes the states of Rajasthan and drier parts of Punjab and Gujarat as well. So Rajasthan drier parts of Punjab and Gujarat as well. They are also found in the very dry parts of the Deccan Plateau as well in Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. So drier parts of drier parts or drier regions of Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh as well. Next when we talk about the important trees that is the Babu and the Juri. These two we'll be talking about. When we talk about Babu, they yield gum. Okay, and its bark are also used for tanning hides and skin. So when we talk about Babu, when we talk about Babu, Babu yields gum. Yields gum and are also used for tanning hides and Tanning hide and skins. Next, when we talk about khajuri, khajuri also provides durable wood. Khajuri tends to provide durable, durable wood. So one more time, when we talk about the thorn and scrub forest. These forests are mostly found in areas receiving rainfall less than 100 centimeters. When we talk about the trees grown here, they are sunlit trees and bushes are found in this region and they are also widely scattered. When we talk about the thorn, the trees of the thorn and the scrub forest, they mostly have long roots which helps them, which helps them or which enables them to obtain water from the deep underground. They tend to have fleshy stems. They have sharp spines or also thorns. Basically, this helps them to protect themselves from the animals. The area basically includes the drier parts of northwest India, including Rajasthan, Punjab, Gujarat, etc. Also in the very dry regions of the Deccan Plateau. The trees basically include your babul, khajuri, kikar, also acacia, which is commonly found in this region. When we talk about babu, it yields gum and it also used for tanning, hides and skins. When we talk about khajuri, it provides durable wood. About the mangrove forest, also known as the tidal, tidal or littoral forest. Tidal or littoral forest. Littoral means on shore. Okay, literal means on shore. So when we talk about these forests, these forests are found in areas along the coast. Okay, as we said, these are found literal means on shore. These forests are common in the areas along the coast and also the mouth of the rivers which are affected by tides. So one more time we talk itself that these are also known as tidal or littoral forest. Littoral means onshore. So these forests are common along the coast, along the coast, and are also found in the mouth of the rivers. Okay, in the mouth of the rivers, which are mostly affected by the tides. When we talk about the mangrove forest, it can survive both in fresh and salt water. When we talk about these forests, okay, when we talk about the mangrove forest, mangroves are trees that grow in areas that are submerged in water during high tides. So they are submerged in water during high tides. So as they are submerged in water during high tides, they are deprived of oxygen. But they are, when we talk about these, but they are exposed. 
during the low tides and they provide tangled webs of arcing roots. So basically one more time, they are submerged in water during high tide and they are deprived of oxygen. During the low tide, what happens? They are exposed, okay? So they are exposed during low tides and they have and they provide tangled webs of arcing roots. That means the roots are tangled. This tangled root system is a wonderful adaptation for survival in the soft soil. So what is happening? Because of these roots, the tangled root, they are being able to survive in the soft soil. When we talk about these mangrove forests, some mangrove roots extend vertically above the ground. Suppose this is the water, the roots tend to go vertically above the ground, above the soil. These specialized roots, these specialized roots are known as new matter forests. So these tangled roots are known as new matter forests. Okay, which have pores which enables the trees to breathe. So they tend to have pores. One more time, we are talking about the roots basically here. During the high tide, the roots are submerged and they are deprived of oxygen. During the low tide, they are exposed. And the roots, since the roots have tangled webs, they tend, they tend to be if they tend to adapt. They tend to wonderfully adapt in case of the soft soil. When we talk about the mangrove trees, some mangrove roots extend vertically above the ground. This kind of specialized roots are known as new mantle pores. Okay? They have pores which enables the trees to breathe. When the other roots, when the other roots are submerged under the water during high tide. So basically, when we talk about these new mantle pores, these roots that we are talking about which grows vertically above the ground have pores which enables them to breathe even during the case of the high tide. Thus they are known as breathing roots. When we talk about mangroves, mangroves provide excellent conditions for the nesting and feeding of a variety of marine fish, reptiles, birds and animals. So moving forward, when we talk about the mangrove forest, we know many things about the mangrove forest now. As we said, they are, they are specialized root known as pneumatophores, which are pores, which are also known as the breathing roots, as they enable the roots to breathe even during the high tides. So when we talk about the mangrove forest, the most important tree is said to be the Sundari tree. The Sundari tree after which the Sundarbans in Bengal has been named. Economically, Sundari is the most important tree of the tidal forest. Sundari wood is hard, strong and also durable. So Sundari, hard, strong and durable. Okay, the Buddha hard, strong and durable and used for building boats and boxes. So basically used for building boats and boxes. Okay, when we talk about the mangrove forest, the other important trees are your gorgon and the hinto. So other important trees include your gorgon and hinto. Okay, one more time, when we talk about the tree, the most important tree is said to be the Sundari tree. Okay, it is very, very important tree, the tidal forest, as the Sundari wood is hard, strong and durable. So, when we talk about these, so when we talk about these region, they are found almost continuously along the east coast near the deltas of the Ganga, Brahmaputra, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri and also the Andaman Islands. So one more time when we talk about the mangrove forest, they are found almost continuously 
Where? Near the coast. As we said, these are the tidal forests, also known as the littoral forests. They are found at the coast. So coast, east coast, near the deltas of the Ganga, Brahmaputra, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, etc. Now let us talk about the last type of forest that is the mountain forest. As the name itself suggests, we can clearly see that these are found in the Himalayas which extend from Kashmir till Assam. So these are found in the Himalayas, as the name itself suggests. Next, when we talk about the mountain forest, looking at the changes in the height, rainfall, temperature, okay, looking at the changes in the height, temperature, rainfall, mixed vegetation can be found. Mixed vegetation can be seen according to the changes in the high temperature and rainfall. So basically when we talk about the mountain forest, it has been divided into different types depending upon the high temperature and the rainfall as it goes on changes. So when we talk about the first, the Shimalik and the foothills of the Himalayas are basically covered with tropical deciduous forest. Tropical deciduous forest and the foothills of the Himalayas. We basically find tropical deciduous forest. We know that sal is one of the most important tree grown here. Next, when we talk about the mountain forest, above the Shivalik lies the temperate deciduous forest. Temperate, temperate deciduous forest. Okay. In this forest, we mostly find oak, chestnut, chir, chill, etc. So the trees here are oak, chestnut, chill, chill, etc. Okay. Moving forward, at the higher altitude, at the higher altitude, coniferous forests are found. Pony forest, forests are found at higher altitude. And the important trees here are pine, cedar, fir, fir, etc. Pine, cedar, fir, fir, etc. can be found in case of the pony forest forest. Now at the at the highest altitude, above 3,500 meters of height, we find the alpine. Alpine vegetation. And the last type of vegetation of the forest, in case of your mountain forest, is your alpine vegetation which grows above 3500 meters of height in the tree line. When we talk about the tree line, tree line is the height above which it is too cold and windy for the trees to grow. So, since trees are unable to grow here, what do we find? We find or we can see that it mostly consists of grasses and flowering bushes. Grasses and flowering bushes. One more time, when we talk about the mountain forest, according to the changes in the high temperature rainfall, the vegetation also starts to change. So, in the first one we said at the foothills of the Himalayas, okay, we mostly find a tropical deciduous forest. Above the Shivaliks, we tend to find temperate deciduous forest. At the higher altitude, we tend to find coniferous forest. And areas above 2500 meters of height in the tree line, we mostly find alpine vegetation, which mostly consists of your grasses and the flowering bushes. Talk about the uses of some important trees. Let us talk about the first one that is chir. Okay. Chir is a pine. So chir pine is useful for the extraction of resin. So chir pine is useful for the extraction of resin. Resin which are used in the manufacturing of paints, shoe polish, etc. And are also used for tea chests. Tea chest. 
and are also used for teachers. It is mainly found in Kashmir, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, etc. Kashmir, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, etc. One more time, when we talk about the uses of the important trees of the mountainous forest, the first that we are going to talk about is chair. Chair is a pine. It is useful for the extraction of resin. Resin which is used in the manufacturing of paint, shoe polish, etc. And are also used for tea chest. Okay, making of tea chest. It is mainly found in Kashmir, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, etc. Next, let us talk about silver fir, which is another important tree of this forest. When we talk about silver fir, it is soft and white in color. It is soft and white in color and is used for paper, pulp, matches, packing, etc. So these are mostly used for or used in paper, pulp, packing, etc. Okay. Moving forward, let us talk about another important tree that is deodor. When we talk about deodor, its hood is durable, oily and also strongly scented. So these are durable, oily and, and these are strongly scented. So when we talk about this tree, that is deodor, it is used for railway sleepers and also construction purposes. So, railway sleepers and also for construction and also for construction purposes. When we talk about deodor, it is mostly found in Imajal Pradesh and Kashmir. Lastly, we talked about the different types of forest in India. The forest includes your tropical evergreen rainforest, tropical deciduous or monsoon forest, thorn and scrub forest, the mangrove or the tiger forest, and lastly, we learned about the mountain forest.